Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how I can use the cinematic camera mod for City Skylines. So the first step is to go to the Steam Workshop and subscribe to the mod. Then launch your game, enable the mod in Content Manager and load a game. Once your game is loaded, you can first start by going to the general vicinity of where you want to start your shot. Then you want to click on the movie clapper icon in the bottom right corner of your game window. Once this window is open, the first thing you want to do is add a new keyframe. And you do that by clicking on the plus button here. Then you can just move around your city and add keyframe one by one by pressing the plus button. Once you have all your keyframes added, we can fine tune the various settings inside the window. So the first drop down in the, in the mod settings relates to the easing in and easing out of points. So for example, if none is selected, the speed between the points is constant, while if in is selected, the camera path starts slowly and then speeds up. Next to the drop down, the first field box here allows you to adjust the duration of the keyframe selected. So if I type in two, the time between this frame and the next frame in total is two seconds long. The next text field is where you can also add an additional delay. This last field allows you to change the field of view. A higher degree value in this field results with more of your city being in frame. The next button, which looks like a circle, allows you to reframe certain keyframes. So if I press the circle button on, let's say, 0.1, it, it redefines the keyframe. I, I can also press on the point label to get to that specific keyframe. And finally, the X button allows you to delete keyframe points. So next, moving to the top of the window, this top slider here allows you to preview your shot. Next to the slider, there's this playback speed dropdown, and this allows you to change the global time between all the keyframes in your camera path. So if I select one fourth from this dropdown, and it slows down the entire global time that this takes by a fourth. So this, is, this option is useful if you have multiple keyframes and you don't want to change the individual values. The FPS option right under the right under the preview slider allows you to change the FPS of the game in order to help make more lag-free recordings. Under the FPS button, there's these two options. One says hide UI during playback. That means that it puts the UI in full screen mode. This option allows you to set up your shot while paused and then unpause it right as you start the shot. This actually is a good option since if if you use certain mods, starting the recording while the game is running can actually make the game crash. So this is actually a good option to have checked if you want to reduce crashing. The last and final feature inside Cinematic Camera Extended is the Save and Load feature. And this allows you to save and load certain camera paths in your city. So this top box allows you to name your camera path. So let's just say I like call this city. I can press save. I can load this anytime I want. So let's say if I clear these two, I can press load and it loads it back again. I can also load these other paths too. Safe camera paths are not erased after you save, quit, and exit out of the program, and they're always available, and they even transfer across cities. The final button is the most important one, and that is the start button, and it's this arrow here in the top right corner. One last thing to keep in mind is that in order to capture your cinematic shot, you will need to have an external screen recorder. So that's basically how I can use the cinematic camera mod for City Skylines. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my other tutorial video on the top five cinematic mods for City Skylines. These other mods combined with the cinematic camera mod can really help achieve a nice looking cinematic. 